When a Brooklyn woman spotted a few bees in her bedroom, she had no idea that she actually had a whole colony living in her ceiling. Yikes. Dana Arshin spoke with a beekeeper who was called in to save the day. You can still hear them buzzing. And the honey on the wall. Cherise Molzak can't believe just one day ago her bedroom looked like this. The bees started coming. I come home from work, there were like six or seven dead bees on my floor. The East Flatbush resident first started seeing honeybees in her bedroom about a year ago, but had no idea where they were coming from. So this week, she called Mickey, a third generation beekeeper. I couldn't believe it. Normally, a hive you know, in a wall or in a ceiling is about half the size. So when I cut in and then I had to cut twice the size of the hole and they were still right there, I couldn't believe it. On Wednesday, Mickey opened up this four foot hole in Charisse's ceiling to find what he estimates to be 35,000 bees. He used this special low pressure vacuum to safely transport the insects to boxes like this one full of honey. Mickey will set the bees free at a hive in Bedsty. It's a beekeeper's dream, really, to, to find a hive so so healthy and functional inside the walls that I can then, you know, cut out and, and take home. Mickey's number one priority is to make sure nobody gets hurt. Number two is to keep the bees safe, and number three, save lots of honey. All of this here is from Charisse's ceiling. Wow! Look at this: forty to fifty pounds of honey and nectar. Mickey responds to about four calls like this a month throughout the tri-state area. If you see bees in your home or hear a buzzing sound, his advice is to call any beekeeper immediately. Do not try to spray them or get rid of them on your own. It could be very dangerous. In East Flatbush, Brooklyn, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.